ready? I'm ready. Ready, go for it. Hi there guys, I'm here with Ed Boone at E3 2010. I'm uh, doing an interview with Ed Boone, as I said. Sorry. Um, I'd just like to ask you a few questions about your latest Mortal Kombat game. Sure, sure. Uh, first thing I'd like to ask is how long have you been working on the game? Uh, we've been working on the game since we finished um, Mortal Kombat vs. DC. I mean, some of the concepts that we were wanted to do, we, we, we decided long before MK vs. DC came out on um, like the 2D fighting style, we knew we were going to go back to that, but um, officially in terms of creating content, it was right after that game. Okay. Do you have a microphone or something? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, second question I got is, uh, it looks like the roster will be 26 characters and DLC, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it might be plus or minus a uh, character, but um, it's certainly going to be around there, and there's definitely plans for DLC. Excellent, excellent. Uh, my third question is, can you tell me about the modes, especially the story mode? Um, well, the story mode is similar to uh, how we presented it in our, in our last game, uh, but it's not split into two. It's one longer story mode, and it's a lot more content, so it's, it's, it's easily a lot uh, longer of an experience than the last game was. Oh, excellent, excellent. Um, my fourth question is, how many arenas can we expect in the final version of the game? Um, I don't know the exact count, but I would imagine it'd be somewhere around 18. 18? That's awesome, awesome. Um, fifth question is, I noticed that in the demo you are using old school Mortal Kombat 2 music for your Living Forest level. Do you think it will stay like that, or do you think the music will change in the final version of the game? Um, some of the music is, um, you know, uh, uh, like new versions of, of the uh, of the classic uh, backgrounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a reimagining of them, and other ones are um, brand new material. So it's kind of a mixture of the two. Oh, awesome, awesome! I look forward to hearing it all. Um, my next question is: Can we expect Toasty to make a return? Toasty. Um, that's a good question. Um, I don't know at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, question number seven is how many level exp uh, fatalities can we expect in the game, like per arena? Per arena? Yeah. So say you've got uh, 18. I don't, think, I don't think any of them is gonna are gonna have two level fatalities, but um, a good number of them. I think in any of the ones that had one before, like if you were to say like the Deadpool is definitely gonna have one, the Pit will have one, um, and uh, you know if you see a background that had a level fatality in the past, most likely it'll have one in this one too. Excellent. Uh, my next question is, uh, any chance of secrets like in Mortal Kombat 1 and 2? Really hard things to unlock? Yes, yes, yes that's one of our that's one of our goals, is Excellent. to have something that we don't talk about, we don't document, and hopefully, you know, some people think it's just a rumor, but, you know, they, they end up being, you know, real secrets in the game. Those are my favorite types. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about that. Um, What's it like working with Warner Brothers on the new title? Uh, you know, our, our experience with Warner Brothers has been nothing but positive. Um, they've, they've been really um, stressing quality, and so they gave us extra time. They really wanted us to uh, make sure that we, we released a, um, uh, a game that was ready. And uh, so uh, they've also given us a lot of creative freedom, and uh, they're giving us a whole new studio to work in, so it's been nothing but positive. Excellent, excellent. Um, will the crit make a comeback? Um, there's a very good chance of that. Excellent. How many fatalities can we expect per character? At least two. Excellent. Uh, will there be any other allities in the game? Uh, well, like I said before, if we're going to have any kind of those features in the game, we're never going to talk about it. So, so I wish I could uh, expand on that. Oh, that's cool. Uh, how long uh, do you think it would take to play through the story mode? I don't know. I know it's a lot longer than the Marvel vs. DC or the MK vs. DC one. Uh, but I don't think, um, like if you took the first, the, the two story modes in uh, in the game and piled them together, it'll be longer than that. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Um, is Liu Kang going to be in the game? And if yes, will he be in zombie or human form? Uh, well, you know, the, this game is a, uh, uh, it, it, in, in a way, it's a retelling of the Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 story. Oh, okay. Right. So, Liu Kang wasn't dead back then, so he, so he, if he showed up, he would be in a normal form. Yep. I understand. 
Okay, uh, next question is, can we expect uh, skins in the new Mortal Kombat? So be able to change out your character skin, you know, like by pressing start? Oh, absolutely. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Excellent. Uh, is Mortal Kombat the official title of this game? Yes. So it's not like Mortal Kombat Revenge or Blood right, Test? Right, or right. Yeah, we, 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 we toyed around with a number of different names, Mortal Kombat Resurrection, I think, Returns and all that stuff. Yep. But then, you know, because it's really kind of celebrating the first two or three games, yep. um, we decided just to call it Mortal Kombat. Right, okay. That's interesting. Uh, any talk of a limited edition version of the game? Any talk? Uh, I'm sure we've had discussions of it, but I don't think we've had any kind of definitive answers or plans yet. Okay. Yep. Um, Mortal Kombat in 3D, are you excited about the futuristic look of Mortal Kombat? Uh, yes. I don't know if it's going to be futuristic as much as it's more immersive and, um, you know, you, you, you have... Um, you know, like we have stere stereopic uh, uh, visuals, and then, but we also have you know 5.1 surround um, audio. So I think the two of those together are really going to make for a great immersive experience. Excellent. Um, will it, will we be seeing uh, MK make a comeback on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live? They recently took off Ultimate MK3 on Xbox um, Live. You know what? I guess I can't speak for sure, but uh, uh, I would be surprised if they never came back. I would be really surprised. And my final question, uh, any chance you'll ever pick up the MK microphone again and voice the Mortal Kombat announcer? Oh, um, any chance? Yes. <laughs> uh, is it probable? I don't think so. I'm, I'm currently not the voice of it for this game, so you know what, that, that would make a really cool unlockable, maybe like the, the original I thought voice. Of. That's a good idea. <laughs> so we might, we might do that after all. Thanks for the idea. No worries. And uh, can, can you give me your best finish him? Uh, Finish him. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much, Ed. Sure, it was a pleasure meeting you again. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to play the final version of the game. Thanks. Thank you.